Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Um, let's get the mat straight, shall we? Um, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> uh, I would love it if you guys would join me here on a regular basis. It helps out the channel. And don't forget to the like button. It's down here somewhere. All right. So what's this? This is the Ray Laconico designed Monterey Bay Knives Pincher. This is a spectacular pocket knife. So a while back, they released the Min Pin. This one happens to belong to Women Carry Knives. You might be able to guess that from not only its size, but the purple. I love this design. The blade shape is fantastic. The handle shape is excellent, but for me, it's a wee small. So when, not that long ago, they said they were going to release the full-size pincher, I got really, really into it. And I even saw one of the prototypes at the shop down there in Carmel. So at Blade Show this year, Blade Show West to be specific, they had a bunch of these. And this is in that same ZDP 189 San Mai that the Slayback came out in that Women Carry Knives has. And I fell in love with this steel after watching uh, Stasa put it through the ringer. This is HRC'd to just about the max. It is very hard, it is very slicey, and it holds an edge up into super steel range like nobody's business. Now it is San Mai, so it's wrapped in stainless, but man, along this edge, you get a superb cutting tool. And it's very comfortable. So finally, the guys over at Monterey Bay are making knives in my size. <laughs> Sanford, Ray, I appreciate you. <laughs> I couldn't pass on this at the show. No way. I love the carbon fiber inlay. Now, they did have just a full tie version, you guys know. I really like my straight full tie knives. Um, but I wanted that ZDP 189. And this is the simplest of them. They had a bunch of these in fat carbon, which were beautiful, but not really my style. So this is what I went with, and I have really, really enjoyed having it. Ray Laconico is... Well, let's get what he isn't out of the way. He isn't mean or snotty. He is super nice. He is super good to talk to. Uh, we got to have dinner, actually, with him and uh, Sanford the first night on, on uh, Thursday night down there in Long Beach. And that was amazing. I just hung out, got a chance to chat. And uh, I'll tell you what, both those guys are just super real, super into knives and just mellow. I don't know. It was really, it's one of my favorite things that happened at Blade Show West this year was my opportunity to actually hang out and talk to those guys uh, in a way that was a little more relaxed then, you know, it, was, it wasn't quite so knifey and a lot more just communication, and I really enjoyed that. Anyway, so the first day of the show, I couldn't pass up, and I got myself one of their new pinchers, and I'm very happy. Now, these are uh, sold out, as tends to happen with the Laconico designs, particularly the stuff through MBK. But I feel like, and it may not come back out in the ZDP 189, but this design will likely reemerge, and if that happens... I wouldn't sleep on it if I were you because it is very comfortable and just a great shape of a knife to use. So let's see what you get. Well, you get a little over an inch and a quarter. Yep, a little over an inch and a quarter of cutting on, uh, excuse me, inch and a quarter. Wow. <laughs> you get a little over three and a quarter inches of cutting on about three and a half inches of, in this case, ZDP 189 Sandmine. The grip area from behind the flipper tab, and it is a frame lock flipper. All right. You get one, two, three, almost three and three quarter inches of grip. So it's just, my hand fits perfectly, right? Right to that edge. It's really nicely done. The knife itself, from tip to tail, comes in just at 8 inches. 
closed length on this thing is uh, one, two, three, four and a half inches. Closed profile is very nice. Uh, looks about to be at about an inch and a quarter at its widest, almost an inch and a half out here. If you hold it this way, it's an inch and a quarter, right? Which is really well done. It's reasonably lean in the pocket, coming in at just under half an inch. This is a superb pocket knife. Just a great design from Ray. If you have smaller hands, you can always get the smaller one. So let's start with the size comparisons with the min pin. And as you can see, the full size pincher is just that. It is full size. Here it is against our old friend, the uh, full size Presidio 2 from Benchmade. Right? You get a lot more knife in the Presidio 2, but not a whole lot more cutting surface. You get a lot of blade on the pincher design. Here it is against the uh, Quiet Carry Drift, which is a smaller knife. As you can see, it is much bigger than that. And here it is. Let's try that again. Here it is against the bug out. As a lot of you have held a bug out. There you go. Right. It's not an enormous knife. It's just bigger -y enough for my big old hands to be very, very comfortable. The action on this thing is very good. Right? Snaps open every time. Let's see if we can shake it out. Nope. Detent is dialed in just right. It is really an enjoyable knife. This is great. You guys know I prefer this sort of neutral handle. Now it does have a little bit of style to it, but overall this is just a nice neutral handle with plenty of grip. It's got a great natural spot for your thumb to land on a clip, almost clip point. It's a drop point, but it's almost, it has a little bit of a rise to it to be a clip point. It's got this beautiful swedge across the top, a little bit of flat. It's got a nice high grind that comes down to a very nice and slicey edge. It is rounded right here, so you can get your finger into this spot if you're pushing this way, but boy, you're going to want to be very, very careful because you are right up against the blade. It has a little sharpening notch, a little bit of a sharpening choil right there, which is well done, and no swell and no smile. So it comes to the base of a very nice vertical plunge right into this choil, and this little sharpening choil here, and so you get a really clean edge going out. It's got the Laconico mark right there, and uh, forgive me, this is dirty, but on the inside right there is where it says... ZDP 189, which is right on the piece of ZDP which is visible on the fold in the sand mai, which is really well done. The carbon fiber inlay on my particular one has got a little bit of a lip right here, but not much. The rest of it, and I think that's on purpose because it's equal all the way around. Uh, it is milled out on the inside. The, uh, the titanium is actually milled, and you can see the carbon fiber through here. And it's milled on both sides. So while this is not going to be a featherweight, it is a great carry. It has the standard, now, Monterey Bay Knives clip, which I really enjoy. It's not totally deep carry, but it's not a monster sticking out of your pocket either. There's a review coming on the uh, Tour Knives Merchant Tanto here. This is a very nice knife, but when it's in the pocket, you've got... <laughs> Come on, guys. You can do better than that. Anyway, the folks at Monterey Bay understand what it is to carry and pocket a knife, giving you just enough knife at the tail here to get it out of the pocket comfortably uh, without having a giant piece of knife sticking out, which is, I think, a really nice middle ground. Got a nice full tie backspacer. This is a very pretty knife. And it's more than that. It's a pretty knife that cuts really well. I love that about it. Let's weigh it. Let me clean up my little mess that I have over here. Knives everywhere, I'll tell you. Let's see where we come in at. And then we'll do the uh, blade stock. All right. 
pincher comes in at four ounces even, which, you know, for three and a half inches of blade on an eight inch knife, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Let's see how much of that ZDP Sandma you get. Sandwiched ZDP 189. You're coming in at, well, let's make sure that's zeroed. Because, you know, yeah, that's what I thought. Four millimeters. Mine says 399, so it's four millimeters. It's a nice chunk of blade steel with a nice high flat, excuse me, with a nice high drop, comes all the way down to a really nice slicey edge. This is a superb knife. Now, again, if they release these, they probably won't be in the ZDP 189, but the M390 that they use there at the shop is excellent. And if you're looking for a knife with just a great combination of style and usability, the full-size Monterey Bay Knives Laconico Designed Pincher. Maybe that knife for you. And that's where we're going to end it. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, by the way, it's really pokey if you're into that. If you have any questions about the pincher or you know any of my knives, feel free to ask down in the comments. We'll see you next time.